plants may not look like they're doing much, but all of these are busy photosynthesizing. It's an invisible process. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not happening. We now understand how photosynthesis works, but it took scientists a long time to figure it out. Many hundreds of years ago, the ancient Greeks thought that plants got their nourishment from eating soil. It wasn't until the middle of the 17th century that a Belgian, Jan Baptiste van Helmont, set out to prove the Greeks wrong. He took a big pot and put 91 kilograms of dried earth in it and planted a young willow tree that weighed 2.3 kilograms. Then all he did was water it for five years. Water, water, water. Mm. The tree gained 75 kilograms, but the weight of the soil hardly changed at all. So, as Mr. Van Helmont said at the time... 75 kilograms of wood, bark and roots arose out of water only. He was partly right. They need water. But Swiss scientist Senebier later found out that they also need carbon dioxide. Another discovery came from Englishman Joseph Priestley. Consider this. Put a mouse in a sealed jar, and what happens? <laughs> yep, it dies. But as Joseph Priestley discovered in 1780, put a plant in there with it. <gasps> and the mouse survives. <laughs> This was the first demonstration that plants produce what you now know to be oxygen. <laughs> but, Mr. Priestley, your demonstration didn't work when it was dark, did it? Oh, no! It took a Dutchman, Jan Ingenhaus, to realise that plants only produce oxygen when there's light. And if you're a mouse in a bell jar... Hey! Who turned the lights out? That's a very important discovery, I can tell you. You are so right. No animals were hurt in the making of this film.